The activities include renovations at various hospitals and clinics, procurement of pharmaceuticals, clinical supplies and medical equipment. Nineteen projects have so far been completed, which include the renovation of Katutura's emergency care unit, Kietman Swap Hospital's ICU, construction of Oshikulu Fitu Clinic and staff accommodation. Fifteen clinics constructed and completed include those at Marintau, Aranos, and staff accommodation at Oranyemund. Four projects delayed include the Swakopmund District Hospital and Onanjokwe Hospital. There are 12 ongoing projects and six clinics still under construction. 45 minor renovations are to be carried out at various health facilities. We believe that we are making good progress. We believe that the Namibian public health system actually works, that it is robust, that it is effective, regardless of the challenges that we have. So I would not subscribe to anybody classifying or characterizing the Namibian public health care system as in crisis. That can, that nothing can be further from the truth. We actually have a system that is working. The ministry has also submitted a $16 billion five-year plan to the government to improve the public health sector. We have gone and really sat down uh, with our colleagues from all parts of the country to have their inputs into this document. The document or the, 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 the initiative is going to be implemented over a period of five years. It is costed at about 16 billion Namibian dollars over that period. The document has been submitted to government for consideration and government is going to communicate on the outcome. Nangombe further says although COVID-19 has delayed the quality standard assurance to be implemented at all health facilities, they continue to monitor and improve the health care system. Health services have also been brought closer to the community and people no longer need to travel long distances to acquire health services. I don't know whether many of our own health facilities actually meet those conditions. And that's what we want to change. To make sure that if anybody was to come from anywhere and inspect our health facilities, they should be able to say, these health facilities meet the quality standards. And we are starting to enforce that. We are starting to implement that. The ministry will issue a detailed report on 636 procurement activities carried out between April last year and March this year.